Now here is Rory coming out of the church with his godmother, Auntie Carmel, uh, after being christened. Here we have, this was in Blackrock in County Dublin. And uh, we have just arrived back in Winburg Park at the moment where we lived. So here he is at three weeks old. In those days I used to uh, make titles by writing with lipstick on the window and filming against the sky. And notice uh, big bump he had on his head. He, he was born with that. I think it was the forceps uh, that caused it and it lasted for several weeks after he was born. Uh, now we're at six weeks old as you can see. This is taken out from the front bedroom window of Inverg Park. Uh, you can see the green field in the background. That's all big housing estate now. So here we are on St. Patrick's Day, the 17th of March, Rory is 10 weeks old. Uh, this is the little rockery at the back of our garden in Winburg Park. Oh, that poor fellow's very tired of all that yawning. So here he is at three months old. Did not appreciate being dried and having powder put on him. Poor fellow. So that's uh, myself with him there. So this is our house in Winburg Park, semi-detached. We're sitting at the front door, taking a bit of sun. This mummy. And there he is with Hugo. Hugo was ordained uh, the same year Rory was born. Hugo was ordained at Easter. And that's the little boy next door, Michael Ryan, looking over the garden wall. The runaway pram. And this is 
my mother, Bridie, um, Rory's grandmother, with Michael Ryan beside him there. There's Hugo reading his breviary out in the garden. I don't think I've seen him reading it since, but there you go. Uh, six months old. We're up in Ballycastle, there you can see Fairhead in the background, and that's Scotland on the horizon. Uh, this is my Auntie Mary uh, holding Rory, who is my Uncle John McBride's wife and her sister beside her. Auntie Mary had not been well at this time and died shortly afterwards. And that's me with the beard. Uh, the banks were in strike for several months at that stage and I was away working in a factory in London and grew a beard. So this is back in Boyle now. That's a boat that Kieran built. And uh, we're taking Rory out in the lake, out on Lake Loch Key. You can see we had no regard for safety, no life jackets. Rory in his pram in the boat. If we had no life belts, we had a, a lifeboat for Rory. Hopefully, we would have been able to blow it up in time. Actually, that very day, uh, after swimming in the lake, I got back into the boat. Uh, I was very wet, and the oars slipped out of my hand, and I fell backwards and had to be rescued eventually. Anyway, this is uh, Rory with a little girl, little neighbour girl in, in, uh, in Winberg Park. Her name is Fiona Ross. And actually, only recently, uh, her, she has been in the news quite a lot as as the Chief Executive of uh, the National Library of Ireland. That was collect crossing the railway bridge at Black Rock. And this is, I think it was Greystones. We went down to the beach with Auntie Carmel there. Uh, the Lilos, I remember we got the cigarette coupons. We were all mad smokers away back in those days. You got cigarette cards, you could save them up and you could get a free present, which probably cost thousands of pounds in its cigarettes. <laughs> There's Rory playing in the sand. He had a good feed of it, as I remember that day. Well, we're, we're back in our house in Windberg Park, in the little nursery. You know, the nursery paper behind him there on the wall. This is the 
swing which was hanging off the jam of the door. He loved bouncing around in that. This was a different outfit he had on him. So at 11 months old, this is November 1966. And there he is. His aunts in Bally Castle were great at knitting a lot of his clothes for him. They were incessant knitters. This is up in the front bedroom um, in the house in Blacklock, sitting on the dressing table. We were very poor in those days, and the furniture was all homemade. I made it myself. You see the dressing table just behind him there, the drawers on the top. It's all made for him. So that was the first year of Rory's life. Now we're into his second year. There's his one candle. That's a big blue. Now this is uh, up on Lansdowne Road in Belfast, that's Rory's Auntie Mary. But here he is taking his very first steps in the sitting room of Lansdowne Road, walking into his Nana's arms. Now it 15 months, this is April, and we're back in uh, in the kitchen in Winberg Park. And here again, been very poor, uh, all this built in furniture was made by myself from scratch. We were also so poor we couldn't afford a bath, so we had to be put into the dishes for washing to save the hot water. Here he is walking, and this is the footpath in front of our house in Black Rock. So 
So this is a, this a Mini Miner we owned at that time, our first car and our first baby. <laughs> He was also very helpful with me in the garden, did his, did his bit. So behind our house there was a, a biggest house with a, lots of trees and grounds attached to it. So it was nearly like living in the country when you looked out our back garden. This is June. So that's Rory's Nana, my mother. Uh, and this is up in Uncle Hugh's house, which had been the Carlin family home, the, the house that my mother had lived in as a teenager. Back in Belfast again. Uh, this is our family home in Belfast. And nearly all my father's films are of us as children walking up and down that path, the same as Rory's doing now. Back in Ballycastle now. Uh, collecting myself with Rory on the beach. That's Rathlin Island in the background. Uh oh. To the rescue. Now this is uh, down the seafront in Ballycastle, a park known as the Glass Island, and that's my two aunts from Ballycastle, Auntie Moira wheeling the plow, pram, and Auntie Nora behind her. These are the two aunts that did all the knitting. I used to call this outfit Rory was wearing his James Dean outfit, white t-shirt and red uh, top. Now this is um, in November, I think, back in uh, back in Boyle. And that's McDermott Castle in the background. You know, Sullivan's may remember that this summer we were rowing out there and landed on the island. We've lots of pictures of that too. And here again, Rory's and his Aaron jumper knitted by the Antis, Mallet Castle. Mm -hmm. Cattle are more afraid of him than he is of the cattle. And this is his grandfather, Colette's father, to me dad, outside his shop in Boyle. 
and that's Clet's mother, so that's his Rory's grandfather and grandmother, Kit Clet. This is Christmas morning, 1967. And the Christmas tree there, we have uh, the little elves, I can't see them so well here, but this Christmas of 2011, uh, I sent photographs to Rory of the same elves on our tree here in Rose Hill in Sligo. And that's this little truck. Oh, Santa Claus in those days used to lay out the toys on the floor. He needed to parcel them. Here's Rory's first glance of what Santa Claus had brought on. He goes straight to the old MacDonald, presses the button, and it plays old MacDonald had a farm. He knew that because he'd seen it somewhere before. But this is a big army truck, which at the present moment is out in our garden here. Uh, I tend to grow some flowers in it, but it has lasted all these years. Spinning taps don't work on carpets. And his first musical instrument. No wonder he's so good at the violin and the piano. Chin, that's the end. Thank you for watching.